Hey so friends, so the next couple of videos are sort of geared towards newer sewers, but that said, because I know that I have a lot of really experienced sewers that follow this channel, so I would still like, very much if you could, to be involved in these videos. Because there's things I'm not going to think of, there's things I'm not going to add to lists, there's tips and tricks that I'm not going to think to share, and what I would really, really appreciate from my more experienced sewers is to, after you watch the video, please go into the comment section and add any little extra encouragement or tips and tricks to the newbie sewers that we're making this video for. Um, I really want to have this whole thing kind of jam-packed and encouraging, most importantly encouraging, <laughs> to people who are new sewers and I think that a lot of my viewers have a lot to offer people. So if you have something that you feel like would be beneficial to add to this conversation, head down to the comments and do that. And right now, we are going to talk about where do you even start when you want to sew your own wardrobe. So my number one main, main piece of advice for anybody who's looking to sew clothing is actually to not start with clothing. Bear with me. I'm thinking that most people who are going to click on this video are probably already have a little bit of sewing experience under their belt. If not, that's totally okay. Everybody starts from somewhere, right? I do have this video here which talks about my number one favorite thing to sew for beginners and for people who want to up their skill set and that is to sew bags like a diaper bag or a backpack or a purse or anything like that. The reason being is that it gives you a really fantastic overall skill set for sewing. You're using multiple kinds of stitching, you're practicing lining, you're practicing top stitching, it's, it's all the things. And I find for sewing clothing that it's best to have a solid set of skills before you worry about having to fit things on your body because fitting it's a whole other beast. But maybe you're like, okay Stephanie, I've sewn the bag, I've done the things, I've been quilting for years, or I've sewn stuffed animals for my friends, or whatever, cool, you want to get into wardrobe sewing. Now when I first started sewing clothing, it was out of 100% necessity. I lived in a small town, <laughs> I hit six feet tall when I was 12 years old, nothing ever fit, and when I was in high school, my boyfriend was graduating the year before I did. And so for his grad, which I think is like, that's prom in for my US friends. I think it's the same thing, right? That's like the big party you have when you graduate. So for his grad, I needed a dress. There was nowhere in town where I could purchase a dress. Everybody drove an hour away um, to the other nearest cities in order to get their dresses. And I went and looked at the malls, and this was before high school girls wore like six inch stilettos, so definitely nothing was gonna be long enough for me. Um, and I had nobody to walk me through the like, how to go to a dress store and order a dress and have it tailored. And like, that was just not a thing that was on my radar at all. But I had used a sewing machine before, and I thought, well, how hard can it be? <laughs> Okay, it, like it was actually, it was okay, it worked, it wasn't great, <laughs> and in hindsight, I really would have liked to have started sewing something that wasn't such an important garment. If you don't get a garment like that right, like you're self-conscious about it all night. I wasn't that night, it was fine. Uh, my grad, however, I was self-conscious about that dress. I mean, it, it turned out okay, but the saving grace was that I made a huge stole, like a huge, long... Um, shawl to wear with it that I could just, I just, I covered up my dress all night because I was embarrassed by it, honestly. Um, <laughs> and it kind of like scared me away, like I lost confidence in sewing. I gained it back over the years in sewing Halloween costumes because after that fiasco of, of my grad dress, I wanted to sew things that like the stakes were very low. Like if it, it's Halloween, who cares? I can go into my closet and come up with something if what I'm sewing doesn't work. And so for a lot of years that's all I sewed was Halloween costumes and it did teach me a lot about fit and about the structure of garments and different kind of seam finishes and all that kind of great stuff which was super super helpful to me. And the reason I started sewing my own wardrobe was because by the time I had kids my body changed so much in that process and became so much curvier that in addition to my height, the curves just made it like impossible for me to find anything that was going to fit me at all. 
So I thought, hey, I, I know how to sew. <laughs> I might as well sew things other than special occasion dresses and Halloween costumes. But that mindset of I sew for special occasions was so ingrained in me that the things I started sewing were like skirts and dresses and nice tops and they were all very nice and like had I needed to go to, uh, you know, a nice work function or something, like I have those garments now, which is great. But what was missing was my desire to wear something that I had made every single day. And had I made wardrobe staples first, number one, when we're talking underwear, tank tops, t-shirts, stuff like that, we're not talking about high stakes garments. If you mess it up, oh well. Even if you don't do a mock-up and you're just going right to sewing from your good fabric, it's not like a, a bridesmaid's dress or something where like you're gonna be out $100 or more. And so I realized that that is what I should have focused on first. And that's what I'm going to recommend to people who are starting to sew their own wardrobe is to focus on staples first. What is it that you wear most often? For me, it's tank tops, t-shirts, bras, underwear, yoga pants, and jeans. That is my uniform for life. And I know I am not alone in wearing this uniform. So first let's talk about stretch fabric. If your sewing journey started off with something like quilting and you've not really sewn with stretch fabric, start with underwear. Just start with underwear because you're going to be using different stitches and different seam finishes in order to sew those. And so if you're gonna be learning about those, learn on something that is not so widely seen. I don't know how many people are seeing your underwear, that's none of my business, but it's kind of a, a safer, lower stakes garment to sew. Also because there's just like not as much fabric. So if you completely mess it up, throw them away, try again, no big deal. Once you build that skill set in sewing stretch fabric, then absolutely move into your tank tops and your t-shirts. And I hope what you're seeing here is like anything, we're looking at the order in which to stack our skills so that it makes sense and you have the most chance of success. So one thing I would suggest if you're going to start tackling pants, start with pajama pants. Usually they're going to be baggier. They're going to have maybe a drawstring at the waist or an elasticated waist. So there's going to be a lot less fitting, but you're going to start really figuring out how that crotch curve works, which when you get into fitting more tailored pants is going to play a large role potentially in your fitting process. Shorts is also another fantastic way to start sewing bottoms because again, there's not a ton of fabric, so you're not gonna really be out much if you end up throwing the whole thing in the bin. And it's okay if you do. And that probably leads me to the biggest thing when it comes to learning how to sew your own wardrobe, and that is be gentle with yourself. Just like ready to wear fashion does not fit everybody's body, neither do sewing patterns. If you've been here a while, you've heard me on my soapbox, I won't get on it again today. Don't let that get you down. Don't let it make you think that there's something wrong with your body. This is your opportunity to have clothes that fit you really, really well. Be patient with yourself. It takes a lot of time to learn these skills. And there are so many people like myself here on YouTube, in blogs, on Pinterest, and we want you, we're rooting for you, okay? We want you to succeed in your wardrobe sewing endeavors. We're excited for you and we wanna help you. So utilize as many of us as you can and it'll come, the skills will come, I promise. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for listening to my chat. And again, if you are a seasoned, experienced sewer and you think there's some other piece of advice for new sewers that you would like them to have, please, please put it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. I'll see you next week.